I didn't think it was going to get flooded. Me and my husband woke up at 2 in the morning, and we looked outside, and the water was already covering our tire of our trucks or vehicles. So I told my husband we had to hurry up and get out of there, but we tried and we couldn't. The water was already up to our waist. So then help came the next day, and they got us out. And it was pretty sad that there were dead animals everywhere already because they had already flooded. We have a donkey, and we couldn't get him out because the water was already way too up. So we would worry about him. But thank God that my parents came and got us at a church nearby where it wasn't flooded. And we went and stayed at their house for a couple of days till we finally got the chance to go back to our home. Who You said somebody rescued you. Do you remember who rescued you? It was the Army. They had one of those big trucks, and they was driving by to see who needed help getting out. And me and my husband, my dog, my neighbors, we all left with them because the water was way too high and dangerous because they were, you know, because of the water, dirty water, because of the feces everywhere of the animals and the water wells and stuff like that. So it was kind of dangerous and we had to get out. And plus, Arkema made us get out. We couldn't stay. We had our water all the way to our waist and we really couldn't carry nothing. We just had to hurry up and get our important papers and my doggy. And that was all we could carry with us. We didn't have time at all to carry nothing else. It was a very scary feeling. I didn't know if uh, I was going to see my home again. I was mostly worried about my my animal, my donkey. I know, you know, he was gonna be okay. He was gonna make it. And then the vehicles, you know, that that can make up. I mean, they got flooded. We lost our vehicles, but I mean, the most important thing was my me and my husband and my family. We was okay. But you know, and then I was worried about. I sold my stuff in my house, how we work hard for our stuff. And, but yeah, the most thing that we lost that it hurt him was my, my pet, my donkey. Mark and I wouldn't let us go in at all. We tried from every other entrance that we couldn't. We tried to tell the sheriffs that we was just trying to check on our donkey, see if it was okay. And they didn't let us in at all until finally one sheriff, he said, just hurry up and go in there and just come right back out. Just go check on it. So we went in there, we checked on our donkey. And he was, he wasn't doing too well. I mean, the water had went down. It wasn't flooded no more, but he wasn't doing well. But when we was trying to give him food and stuff, that's when the plant first exploded. So we had to hurry up and get out of there. Um, the sheriff just told us to get out of there because the plan was starting to explode. So we was driving through like 10 minutes from there and we still could hear the plan explode. I mean, the whole ground was exploding. So we had to hurry up and get out of there. And we finally went back home like a week after that. 